Two Democrats went after Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, during a House oversight hearing on Thursday. During her questioning of U.S. Office of Personnel Management Kiran Ahuja during the hearing, Green noted that former President Donald Trump had signed an executive order designed to make it easier to fire poorly performing or insubordinate federal workers. Green noted that President Joe Biden later rescinded that executive order. She then cited Ahuja's proposal to update federal hiring procedures for determining suitability and fitness to flag people who may have participated in or endorsed acts of force and violence against government. You said anyone who fits these characteristics should not be hired, Green told Ahuja. Green then pointed to a blog post written by Ahuja where she called on people to donate to the Northwest Community Bail Fund, which Green said is dedicated to ending cash bail and pretrial detention in Washington state of BLM and Antifa rioters in 2020. These were rioters that took over the streets of the Portland, Oregon, attacked police officers, federal courthouses, and local government, Green said, trying to contrast Ahuja alleged support for left-wing rioters being released pre-trial to January 6 defendants who remain incarcerated while their trials are still pending. When it was Florida Democratic Representative Jared Moskowitz's turn to speak, he took aim at Green for hearkening back to Trump's hiring practices. It certainly wasn't merit when he hired his children into the White House, or his stepson, Moskowitz said before rattling off a list of Trump administration appointees who Trump later disparaged publicly. Here we are yet again at another hearing where we want to talk about going back to Trump's good old days and how we want to bring back Trump's hiring procedures. HR wasn't really a strong suit in the Trump administration, he said. Representative Jerry Connolly, Democrat Virginia, then chimed in pointing out that Ahuja is not responsible for the hiring of different agencies, which set their own requirements for hiring all of which would likely flag a potential hire if they were tried and found guilty of committing any sort of violent action against government agencies. Let me just say. I don't want you hiring people who have harmed other people in a violent activity, especially one as public as an insurrection at the U.S. Capitol he said, later adding that he would applaud Ahuja for using that filter.